If you want to get in contact with me, the best way to do it is on Instagram. If you just want to say what up, if you want to tell me you love my videos, you can tell me that you hate my videos, but the best way to do that is on Instagram. Peace, y'all. Johnny Fastlane here. So, the baby gets into an altercation, and Vic Mensa gets arrested. Plus, Kanye West talks about his battle with alcohol. Let's talk hip-hop. That's a video of the baby, right? Um, like some surveillance video when it shows that he like grabs this dude um, and like sits him down in the hotel of a, uh, a lobby and then he's like scolding him like, you better not, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you can't hear anything, right? So you can only imagine what he's saying, right? Um, the whole situation is TMZ obviously, and of course, put this out because TMZ puts out everything, right? Um, and they basically like the baby assaulted a, a guy who worked at a hotel uh, and yada, 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 right um so of course the baby sees this and he responds um to what tmz reported right so he goes on his own instagram to basically gives his side of the story right so the baby says that hotel worker you see me pushing quote unquote uh came to me outside the hotel and asked if he could record a video while i was holding my two-year-old daughter i calmly and respectfully said no and explained to him that posting the video up would let people know uh where i I am uh, for the safety of my child and myself I don't want you to do that right um, then he says after being told no uh, and he's still on the clock he walked uh, across the parking lot about 50 feet away zoomed in on me uh, to record a video of me and my daughter on snapchat after I politely asked him um, no and I gave him an ex told him no and I gave him an explanation right um, he said, then I handed my daughter to her uncle and walked over to him as he was typing the caption uh, to the video of my, me and my child. Uh, as I saw him recording it, he didn't even know. I saw him typing the caption. I was looking over his shoulder. I told him to delete the video immediately and take his bitch ass back to the hotel and do his job since he wasn't capable of being a professional enough to abide by company policy while doing his job outside of the hotel. Upon entering the hotel, I made him sit down and understand the fact that no video is worth the safety of my child being compromised, especially after being politely explained to him the reasoning behind me saying no. Not to mention the fact that he's at work uh, and his job is to valet parked cars, not to record customers and violate their privacy, which I'm 100% sure is against employee policy uh, at the hotel. Uh, being a celebrity and being liked by the public is cool, but I'm a father first before anything, and my, that's my number one priority is providing the safety and protection for my child. Anybody that doesn't respect that, I don't want your respect, right? Um, and then he says, in TMZ, while y'all continuously attempt to assassinate my character with y'all incomplete and judgmental stories, um, y'all please let the Beverly Hills Hotel know that my lawyer will be in contact with them so that they can provide me uh, the with the of the employee from outside the hotel just like they provided TMZ with the tape of me sitting the employee down inside the hotel um, as this employee was supposed to be doing their job um, and if they don't do that for me just let them know that they got a lawsuit on their way with their name on it and then he gives a smiley face emoji and says baby right so basically explaining like what all happened right um, and this whole situation is crazy now I get it right the baby Maybe, of course, is going to be upset, and of course, he wants to protect his child's privacy. But at the same time, you also got to know that you're a celebrity, and people really get starstruck and don't even know how to act when they're around certain people. Um, and they don't. It, it's sad and it's unfortunate, but they don't look at the baby as a human being, right? They look at him as a product, right? They look at him as a a, a movement, right? Um, a superhero, maybe even, right? But not a human being who has a daughter. So they don't put two and two together. It's weird and strange, but they just really don't, right? And I think that, you know, years from now or even a year from now, the baby will be used to it and probably react to crazy fans a little bit different, right? So 
So yeah, the baby uh, was right in the fact that you know this fan was super overzealous, super wrong, and violating his privacy. But the baby's reaction to that fan uh, could have been a little different, right? I've seen um, countless other celebrities have their children and not flip out on people that were taking pictures of them. Um, I mean, shit, some celebrities wave their kid around in front of the the cameras and the paparazzi, like the Kardashians or whatever, like that. So it just and and the Kardashians are used to being famous forever right so and the baby is not so used to it so i think that a couple years from now his reaction will be different um but i get both sides of it um let me know what y'all think about this in the comments All right, Joe. So yesterday, uh, Vic Mensa is riding around. He on the motorcycle here in California, um, and he makes like I guess an illegal turn or a dangerous turn or whatever. The cops uh, pull him over, right? So they actually get behind him. Vic Mensa stops, right? Um, the cops, you know, check him and everything. His ID, everything's cool. Um, and he's like, "Why'd you pull me over? Oh, because you made a dangerous turn, right?" Um, they ask to search his person though, so they search him. They go in his pockets, and he has brass knuckles. Um, in one of his pockets, right? So, you know, really no big deal. But the thing is that in cer certain states have different rules, which is completely retarded. I think like if we're all one country, then we should all have the same rules, right? So whereas if Vic Mensa was, I don't know, in Chicago and he had brass knuckles, he might not get in trouble. But since he's in California and he has brass knuckles, he's going to get arrested for felony possession of a weapon because brass knuckles apparently is a weapon in California, right? Um, so he gets arrested arrested and he gets released on $20,000 bond um, but the whole situation is that now he picks up a brand new felony case in the state of California right um, but here's the thing so the police officer who pulled him over actually didn't give him a ticket for um, the illegal turn. And this has happened to me too before where they pull you over for one thing, they find something else, and then they completely forget and get distracted about just proper paperwork on what they pulled you over originally for because, oh my God, he has some brass knuckles. Let's arrest him. Let's file a paperwork. Let's book him. Let's do all that. Oh shit, I forgot to write him the ticket, right? But that's actually a good thing that they didn't write Vic Mensa the ticket because then he could be like yo they pulled me over for no reason they were racially profiling um they were mad because I was black. They were mad because I got a, a motorcycle that cost more than, you know, their house or whatever the case may be. Um, and you could say that they didn't give me a ticket. So it's clear that they didn't pull me over for any reason. So that search was illegal and they the felony charges for the brass knuckles might be dropped, right? That's what I'm thinking is going to happen if Vic Mensa has a good lawyer and we about to see, right? But for now, yeah, he made bail. He's out. Um, shout out to Vic Mensa. Even, you know, whatever. And, and you know, <laughs> let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. So Kanye West um, did another um, I guess sermon at a Sunday service yesterday in Arizona, right? Um, and they call it Sunday, well, he calls it Sunday service, even though it's not always on a Sunday anymore. It used to be on Sundays, but not no more. Ever since Coachella, ever since the album dropped, uh, Kanye does Sunday service every day, any day of the week, right? So anyway, he was preaching at Sunday service. He was talking about um, his old battles that he used to have with certain, you know, secular things and the devil being very strong in his life in the past, right? Um, and basically he was talking about how he had an alcohol problem, which a lot of people didn't know. I didn't really know that either, um, but you know, he kind of broke it down. So he was talking about and using that whole example of when he was at the MTV Awards with, um, uh, uh, that one chick, I, f I forget her name, but uh, he was drinking like, you know, a whole bottle of Hennessy or whatever like that and, and jumped on stage while Taylor Swift was accepting the award um, and just, you know, grabbing the microphone. I'm going to let you finish. But Beyonce had the best video of the year. Y'all remember that, right? When everybody was like, oh, my God. And people were calling Kanye West an asshole and all kind of stuff. Right. Well, Kanye West was saying that the reason why he did that was because he was drunk and we knew that he was drunk. He was walking around with a gallon bottle of Hennessy and everything. But the whole thing is that 
during that time, I guess we didn't know that he had a real alcohol problem, right? So he started like explaining and breaking down why he had that problem and even how it started, right? So he was just explaining how he was in his office, you know, in the middle of the day um, and there might be some vodka in the fridge or whatever like that. So he might have some and he used to like the way that it made him feel. So he went from drinking like in the afternoon or in the evenings or at night, like at the club to drinking, you know, day drinking in the middle of the day, 12, one o'clock in the morning, like lunchtime, because it was readily available in his fridge, right? Um, then he talked about how he went from that to, you know, drinking uh, vodka and orange juice in the morning, uh, you know, or champagne and orange juice in the morning. You know, to me, that's just mimosas, but you know, you can't be doing that every day. So Kanye West started doing that every single day. Um, and then slowly but surely, he started getting a dependency to the alcohol, right? Um, and that's crazy because, you know, a couple years ago, he talked about how he had a dependency to uh, painkillers. So I'm, I'm thinking that that kind of has the same feeling to him, right? It's a downer, not an upper, right? It's not Coke or anything like that. It's alcohol. So alcohol kind of gives you like a downward kind of drowsy feeling. And so does the painkillers that he was addicted to, too, right? Um, so it's all kind of crazy, but it, it's dope to see that Kanye West was able to beat that addiction, but also... And this is just me and my personal opinion. A lot of super duper duper religious people always go through like some kind of like breaking point or addiction or, you know, some part of their life that they really feel bad or embarrassed about to the point where they just go fully, you know, on the other side of things and become crazy religious or whatever the case may be. And I, I think that's where Kanye is right now. So he still has to like, you know, answer for some of the stuff that he did to himself for himself. Um, and he still having like battles within his own you know mind body and soul but you know shout out to Kanye I guess you know he'll make it through it uh, we'll see right um let me know what y'all think about this and everything else in the comments down below don't forget to like comment share subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell follow me at Johnny Fastlane on Instagram and y'all already know what to do peace